and welcome to part two of how to create a custom kit for FIFA 23. In part one, we went through the fifacreator.com and how to create a kit. So I've knocked up something that looks a little bit more reasonable uh, to utilize in the second part. What we're going to show you today is uh, how to actually make yourself a kit mod. Uh, there'll be a few more parts of this, so stay tuned for that. But uh, yeah, let's get into this. So what I've done is uh, I've just made a FC Cologne kit here, and I've downloaded it as I showed you in part one. If you haven't seen that, go and check it out. From there, what you're going to need is an editor tool. Now, we're using the FIFA editor tool. Uh, I'll put a link in the description of where to get this. Now, I first must put a disclaimer in here that mods are frowned upon. Uh, you can actually get banned for using them, so it is at your own peril. Uh, and the first thing I would say in your current save is create a backup because once we start modding files You could corrupt your save and you could lose everything. So always create a backup before you get into it Once you've got this editor tool running up, which I'm not going to show you how to do you'll have to figure that one out yourself Unfortunately um, We'll get in to adding a kit Right, so you've got a couple of tabs here, uh, the Data Explorer and the Legacy Explorer We're going to start in the Data Explorer and if you just type kit here It'll update. I want you to go to content, character, kit. Now what you're gonna to have to do is find the ID for the team that you are looking to change the kit for. Now, uh, I'm gonna do FC Cologne, who I think are number 31. So if we scroll down here, we can see FC Cologne 31. Now we've got the option here, away, goalie, home, and third kit. So you, with a team like this, you've got the opportunity to do the third kit. I might cover in a future tutorial how to add a third kit. If you're interested in that, let me know in the comment section. But for today, we're gonna to take a look at the home kit. So once we've selected the home kit here, we get a, uh, a list of textures down the bottom. If we click the first one, we get a COF. There's nothing there, it's blank. We come to color. We now have a logo. We need to get rid of this because we are wanting to use our own kit. So if we go up here, there is an import button. And what we want to do is go to our kit file and just insert the blank. We come down to Jersey normal, import, blank. Shorts is clear, color, import, blank. What we're doing is basically just stripping that logo out of the current kit. Shorts as well, import, blank. You need to do the same thing for the crests because we have replaced the crest. Import, blank. The crest normal, import, blank. Uh, the crest on the shorts, the color, import, blank, and the crest shorts, import, blank. Right, the next important thing is the hotspots. Now, until you become familiar with how this all works, I'd probably try and find a kit from the same league that you're in. Um, because if you start trying to manipulate other kits, the hotspots could be wrong and your numbers could be all over the place. So just leave those for now. We'll move down to the Jersey Co-F. Now there is the current FC Cologne one. We want to import and we find our Jersey Co-F. That imports that texture. And we continue through importing Jersey color, import the normal, and import PAA file. That is the jersey done. We've got to do the same for the shorts. Import, shorts co-f, shorts color, import, shorts color. So you're just double clicking on the left until it shows up. Import, shorts normal, shorts PAA and do the same for the socks. Import, COF, socks color, import, socks color, import the normal, and import the TAA file. 
Right, so that is all of the graphic work done for your kit. Now we want to do the mini kit. For that, you need to come across to the Legacy Explorer. Explorer. Uh, is it kit in this one as well? Data. UI. Uh, image assets. Kits. Now what you need to do is come down this list and try and find the number that you're looking for. So 031 should be the home kit. And if we go import, got a little mini kit right here. And that is effectively your kit mod almost completed. You want to save that. And finally, you want to export it to become a mod. You'll need to give it a title. Um, kit tutorial. All right, DK, uh, it's a kit, version one. And what I like to do here is just add the image of the kit and FC cone kit. Then we hit save. We'll need to add that here. Uh, FC cone kit 1.0, I guess. We hit save. So that's exported it into a mod. So if we come across here to, right, so we've got our uh, mod file ready to go. Now, in order to use these mod files, you need uh, the FIFA mod manager. Right, so this is the FIFA mod manager, another program that you will need. You need to go import mod and navigate to where your kit mod file is. It'll pop up here, and if it's uh, with the current version of FIFA, whatever update you're on, it will be fine. If it's missing the update, it will let you know here, and you'll have to go through and update your mod again uh, just by save as and exporting it. We double click here, it comes into the applied mods, and then we can launch FIFA from this mod manager. Right, it will take a little while for the game to start up, but if you've done your kit mode properly, uh, if we come here to FC Cologne, we can already see there that the mini kit is down there for the home team option. So we know that uh, the mini kit is working. Right, so here we are. Uh, game is kicked in, our home kit is done. So we can see here on the screen that our, our kit is ready to go. I'm just gonna jump into this game just to show you the kits uh, in field. Right, so here we go. Um, you can already see a few issues. Now, the sleeve sponsor, we can't control that uh, without getting into the nitty gritty of the coding, but it has put that Bundesliga badge on. So other than that, the kit's okay. Um, the numbers on this one look all right. I guess we can deal with them in red, but you can change that. We'll, we'll deal with that in a, a future uh, tutorial. One th issue I can see already is the short numbers. So that would be either involve um, adjusting the hotspots, which can get kind of technical, or redoing the kit and uh, moving that feeler um, sponsorship positioning so you can put it somewhere else so that it doesn't get in the way of the number. That's probably the easiest way. But you can see there, we can go through all of the players. Uh, they all seem to be wearing long sleeve shirts for some reason. Maybe because it's raining. I don't know. That's not normally the case. Every single player has a turtleneck on. That's that's different. I don't think I've ever seen that. Um, so yeah, there we go. That's how you chuck the kits in. Um, I just have to put the pretense in there. Be very, very careful with your saves. Be very careful when you're doing this. It is only for career mode, uh, perhaps for kickoff. Don't use it online or anything like that. You probably will find yourself getting banned. But if you do want to have a little bit of a play and get those kits in, that's how we do the mod. Thanks very much. I'm Sparring DK. It's five o'clock somewhere and you have a good one. The Sparring DK channel now has Patreon, and if you feel like just going that little extra step to help, uh, you know, the channel grow, you can go across to the website, pledge your allegiance to myself, and uh, for one dollar a month, you're basically putting it in a jar and allowing for us to go and buy some more beers and record some more beer drinking episodes. Thank you very much to the current lads that have gone ahead and supported the channel. Absolutely tremendous to see anybody willing just to give that one dollar a month at this stage. I cannot thank you from the bottom of my heart. You, you really will make a difference in the future. So jump across there if you're that way inclined to the Patreon channel, sign up today, and we'll see if we can get some extra beer drinking episodes for you at home. Now, if you are looking for some more content, we've got a couple of videos, one here, one here, and if you want to subscribe, there's a button right there. So go ahead, subscribe, and you'll be notified when the videos...